works. Once you've got a solid Wi-Fi connection in your brain, it's time for an upgrade, melatonin style. Because when melatonin levels go up, your third eye, your inner vision is about to give you an experience that's more real than anything you've ever felt. You know, I'm all about data and love measuring things. Imagine witnessing someone in a wheelchair standing up or someone with severe depression suddenly feeling alive again. That's what we observed in real time. It prompted us to start measuring because we needed to turn those personal experiences into objective measurements. It's not just about saying, that sounds great. It's about acknowledging that these are real live events. The energy in the room became a big deal. Uh, people often commented, I, the energy in the room was amazing. You know, sorry. So we needed a way to measure it. Enter Sputnik, our little instrument hanging out there, picking up fluctuations in the field. Let's talk about entropy, disorderly energy. It's like chaos. There's no order, no information to carry. We measure the amount of disorderly energy in the room. Now, during meditation, something fascinating happens. Your personal Wi-Fi signal kicks in creating coherence in your brain and heart. Your field interacts with others, causing more order and more order and even more. After the meditation, open your eyes. The energy in the room remains even more orderly. It's not just about increasing energy, it's about achieving a higher level of order. We call it reverse entropy, energy organizing matter. This creates a clear, coherent energy that heals and opens doors to different dimensions. It happens when interference produces highly coherent patterns. As you delve into this work, consider the pineal gland. It's a tiny gland in your brain with stacked crystals. When activated, it acts like a radio receiver. Nature uses similar crystals in homing pigeons or reptiles, allowing them to sense things like infrared frequencies. You have one of these in your brain. If activated, it goes beyond responding to light. It tunes into different frequencies. Imagine closing your eyes and your nervous system picks of quantum wavelengths unrelated to the three dimensional world. You awaken in the radio receiver, slow down your brain waves and dive into theta. The door between your conscious and subconscious minds widens. You're about to experience a heightened sensory journey like a 25% boost in your senses, revealing an unknown aspect of yourself. This journey involves changes in energy from gamma brainwaves to powerful antioxidants. It's like a profound, lucid dream. By changing your energy, you contribute to the orderliness of the field, leaving a unique signature. Our experiments showed that even when a thousand people were miles away, the energy in the room increased. So it's not just about energy, it's about creating order, coherence, and making a meaningful impact on matter. Understanding these concepts might just lead you to a sensory experience beyond the bounds of your usual reality. Buckle up for a journey within and beyond. Imagine your brain as a little powerhouse with crystals that, when activated, work like a radio receiver. This isn't just a human thing, think homing pigeons or reptiles with similar crystals. The pineal gland, that tiny spot in the back of your brain, plays a big role. For animals like pigeons or geese, it's like their own GPS system. Pigeons use it when migrating, and reptiles even change colors based on the infrared signals they pick up. Surprisingly, you've got one of these too, but here's the catch. If it's dormant, it just reacts to regular light. Picture waking up in the morning, your eyes catch the light, and bam, your brain starts making serotonin, a neurotransmitter that signals daytime. But when the light disappears, the magic begins. Your pineal gland turns serotonin into melatonin, the key to slowing down your brain waves and easing you into restful sleep. Let's dive a bit deeper into this three-dimensional world interaction. You see there's a pattern, a rhythm, like a dance. It's called the circadian rhythm. Most cultures follow this, except, well, 
the night owls like our friends in Mexico. They've got a unique clock, dinner at midnight, chats till the wee hours, and bright-eyed at 10 in the morning. Now think about when you close your eyes, no more light, right? This triggers melatonin, the dream maker neurotransmitter. It crafts those mental pictures. And in the world of imagination, you're in the alpha state. Learning flips you from the bustling beta to the serene alpha. I've been observing you all. You're chatting away and suddenly a freeze. You've entered the alpha zone. It's like your brain is snapping a picture, locking in what you've just learned. But beware, when you're in high beta mode, learning takes a back seat. It's like an emergency state, not the time for new info. So when the lights go out, your brain gets the cue. It's time for melatonin's performance. And here's a fun fact. Our friends in the animal kingdom have a similar show going on. This melatonin not only helps you dream, but also transforms into antioxidants, like the ones found in hibernating animals. These antioxidants give your brain a boost, a bit like a turbocharge. So next time you close your eyes, imagine that you're stepping into a world where your brain is the director, crafting dreams and consolidating memories. It's like a nightly adventure, thanks to your fantastic brain and its magical pineal gland. All right, let's break it down. Picture this, your brain is like an alarm system. We're talking about an alert emergency mode here. You following me? Now, close your eyes. Can your brain pick up vibes like radio frequencies, but on a whole other level? Quantum stuff, nothing to do with our regular 3D world. It's like waking up a radio inside your head, calming down the busy thinking part slowing down those racing thoughts and letting your body chill in what we call the theta state. Now, imagine a door swinging wide open between your regular thoughts and those sneaky subconscious ones. All you need to do is find a specific vibe and focus on it. Today, we're doing this with a kaleidoscope. Get ready to dial into mystical frequencies once you've got a solid Wi-Fi connection in your brain. It's time for an upgrade, melatonin style. Hold tight. Because when melatonin levels go up, your third eye, your inner vision is about to give you an experience that's more real than anything you've ever felt. Imagine this. What if your senses were turned up by 25% right now? Everything you see, hear, smell, taste, and feel amped up. But here's the twist. No outer world, just a full-on sensory explosion in your mind. Still with me? Good. So, if your awareness is through the roof, so is your consciousness. And here's the cool part. Your brain suddenly cranks up to a higher frequency, rocking the gamma brainwave vibe. Melatonin, your sleep buddy, gets a promotion. Sure, it already helps you dream, but get ready to you know, kick it up a notch to lucid dreaming. Need to chill out? Melatonin's got you covered, but now it's like superhero mode. And the antioxidants it releases, they're not just any antioxidants. We're talking top tier hibernation style. No hunger, no cravings, just pure zen. Now here's the science bit. That same stuff found in electric eels. Yeah, that's in the mix too. Imagine a burst of energy lighting up your brain thanks to a fossil bioluminescent chemical. It's like flipping a switch and enjoying the show. Lights out, animal centers on standby, and you're not bothered by everyday desires. It's like a cosmic energy dance in your brain. So get ready to unlock your brain's potential, dial into those mystical vibes, and take a journey within yourself. Buckle up, because it's gonna be a wild ride in the realm of your mind. Picture this. There's a little chemical in your brain, a mood maestro that taps into the same spots as serotonin and melatonin, the mood and sleep champs. But here's the twist. It's sending a different message. Now, ever heard of the mega hallucinogen methyl chipped me? Surprise, surprise. 
It's just a glammed up version of melatonin. Brace yourself because when you dive into this altered state, waving goodbye to the familiar world becomes a real deal. Get ready to uncover a side of you that's been hiding in the shadows. Today, we're delving into the time, space, space, time trio to prepare you for what's to come. But hold on. If you're creating good vibes, adding a sprinkle of order to the room's atmosphere, it's these harmonious patterns that start making waves in the physical world. It's like magic. Tweak the patterns in the air and you're stirring things up in the tangible, touchable world. So let's simplify it. The more organized your vibes, the more you can mold things around you. Imagine the next time you sync up with your own good vibes, your heart and brain doing a perfect dance. That's like leaving your personal mark, your signature on the universe. And guess what? It works anywhere, your office, clinic, or even inside your car. Now, here's a wild tale from Colorado Springs. Picture me on a stage chatting with around 400 folks when suddenly it felt like someone pulled a cosmic blanket over the crowd. An energy wave hit me square in the chest. It was like an unexpected force rushing through me, then bouncing back into the audience. Fast forward, I'm sprinting down a hotel hallway like a track star trying to get to my room. Why? Because this energy hit me like a ton of bricks. I needed a moment. Hotel security and managers, they're eyeing me like I'm handing out party favors. Why? Because people at the event were on cloud nine and they couldn't wrap their heads around it. So we played detective, checking out the energy in the room. Sometimes on the first day of an event, the energy would take a tiny dip. Scientists would rush in trying to fix it. But guess what? When you tap into the field, severing those energetic ties with everything around you, you're creating your energy. Now, imagine having your special vibe messing with others, making everyone hum on the same wavelength. We even left an instrument in a room with a thousand people doing a meditation miles away. Surprisingly, the energy in the room increased, showing that changing your vibes doesn't just affect where you are, but also where you're headed. So get ready to tap into your unique vibe and watch the world around you dance to your tune. It's like being the conductor of your cosmic symphony, shaping the energy and leaving your mark on the universe. Picture this scene. I was on stage surrounded by about 400 people out of nowhere. It felt like a wave of energy hit me like a ton of bricks. It was so powerful that I couldn't even speak. I had to leave the stage, urgently trying to get to my room. It was intense. I felt like I might burst into tears. I was sprinting down the hotel hallway, room key in hand, with hotel security and the manager giving me curious looks. They even wondered if I was handing out ecstasy at the event. Why? Because people in the audience were on cloud nine and no one could quite understand why curiosity peaked we decided to investigate the energy of the room interestingly at many advanced events the energy would dip a bit on the first day scientists would rush in to fix it thinking something was wrong but here's the twist when you tap into the energy field severing ties with everything around you you're essentially creating your energy. Imagine having your special vibe, messing with others, making everyone hum on the same wavelength. It's like becoming the conductor of your cosmic symphony, shaping the energy and leaving your mark on the universe. To take our experiment further, we left an instrument in a room with a thousand people doing a meditation half a mile away. Surprisingly, the energy in the room increased, showing that changing your vibes doesn't just affect where you are, but also where you're headed. So when you change your energy, it's like rearranging the cosmic furniture. It affects not only where you've been, but also where you're going. It's a reminder that the energy you put out there comes back to you, and you can be the maestro of your own cosmic concert, influencing the world around you. 